Well, prosecutors have now asked for a psychological profile of the man accused of going on a stabbing spree at a Texas college yesterday. Fourteen people were hurt, two critically, when the student you see on the right of your screen went from building to building, according to the authorities, slashing and stabbing people at Lone Star College in Texas until a group of students wrestled him to the ground. Yesterday, we heard from one young man on campus who escaped unharmed, and he suggested that students would have been safer if they were allowed to carry guns on campus. Joining me now, Stephen Maida. He's one of the students that helped take down this suspect. And Dan Patrick is with us on camera. He's a Republican Texas state senator and radio host who wants concealed carry to be allowed on these campuses. Uh, gentlemen, thank you both so much. Stephen, let me start with you. Sure. I, I, I'm amazed at your courage and your bravery because, as I said in the in the last block, most of us, when we, we hear danger and we hear there's some sort of a stabbing or some sort of violent incident, would go behind closed doors. You actually ran after the danger. What made you do that? Uh, just seeing that it was girls that were mostly being targeted at first and hearing that I was stabbing girls in the face made me want to go in there and protect them and hopefully maybe help someone out that was maybe about to get murdered or who knows what could happen next. So were you armed at all? Did see. you have any weapon on you? Just my fist. That's it. Wow. How many of you actually took him down? Me and three other three other guys, um, Eric, Bertrand, James, and then I didn't get the last gentleman's name. So you you see him, and what do you do? I mean, how do you tackle him? <clears throat> well, I, it's actually a pursuit. I actually had to ask about four, three, three to four people where he was first. Uh, I, I asked the girl where he was. She took a, she ran off, and the girl came out with a stab wound in, the, in her cheek. And her friend said she's been stabbed, and there's a guy out there stabbing girls in the face. I asked her where and what he looked like. She said he's upstairs and he's white with red hair. So I go inside and I see another girl with a stab wound in her neck. Oh. And someone's tending to her. And I go upstairs and I, I look around the hallway and see if there's anybody there or if he's there. And it's people in the hallway tending to another kid that had a slice in the back of his head. So I run down there, and they didn't know what he looked like or where he was. And then a gentleman ran up to me and pointed out the window downstairs that there he is. And I looked at him walking across the bridge across the lake. There's a little lake in the middle of our school. And so I ran downstairs, ran outside, and ran outside and joined the pursuit with the other security guards and other kids with me and other kids and pursued after him. Well, we got across the bridge, and I looked around, and it was only me and these three other, three other guys running towards the guy and and he looked behind him about 100 feet away from him and he saw us and took off through the first building the next building wow he could see so when you finally so did get did, did get up close to him how, how did it go down well when it went down we had a we had to go through a building and then we almost lost us and we saw him out in the parking lot we ran after him one grabbed him by the back of the backpack and pulled, spun him around the other kid grabbed his arm and then we pushed him down the ground the guy gave up immediately because he knew there's four of us around him, and but he was unarmed. He he had a knife in his pocket. Wow. I want to ask you, Senator Patrick, because we talked to you yesterday about whether you thought this would yeah. change the push for to allow concealed carry on college campuses, and already folks have come out. I mean, some, folks who want more gun control and don't want concealed carry have said they believe this helps their argument because so far, thankfully, no one has died. Uh, the 14 students who were stabbed were injured, but but have not passed away. Yeah, I, 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 it's it's not only a weak argument, Megan. It's uh, it's an argument that concerns me because what they're really saying is not until someone gets shot and killed should we take uh, this measure forward. Senator Brian Birdwell and a number of senators, myself included, have uh, co-authored this bill, but we're blocked, and we're blocked primarily by the chancellors and the presidents of universities across the many great universities and colleges we have in Texas who don't want students. And remember, we're talking in Texas to have a concealed carry license. You have to be 21. You have to take training, 10 hours today of training, as well as show your efficiency with the weapon. We're not talking about just kids carrying a weapon. And Stephen, first of all, Stephen, I have not met you, but thank you uh, for what you did yesterday. You were a hero with others. But imagine Megan had this person with the knife had a gun. Stephen would have been helpless. He may have tried to tackle him with a gun, but he may have been shot. If Stephen would have had a CHL, a concealed carry, if he's old enough, I don't know if he's 21, uh, but if, 
if students, and, and Lone Star, Megan, has 75,000 students. It's a major university. Mm -hmm. You can't have enough police to protect everyone. So in Texas, we believe, and we have over a half million adults, 21 and older, who have a CHL. We've never had incidences of, of, of people pulling their guns and shooting them recklessly. When this bill was passed in the 90s, before my time in the Texas Senate, uh, there were these stories that you're going to have road rage and neighbors shooting each other over a barking dog at three in the morning. Yeah, None heads. of that's never happened. People are very, very serious when they carry that, that, that weapon. They, they know what it means to carry that weapon. And it just gives you a chance to protect your own life the responsibility and your, and your that property. Comes with it. And, Stephen, let me ask you, as, as a person a who found yourself uh, you know, facing this kind of danger, what are your thoughts on, on allowing concealed carry on college campuses? The, the concealed carry, on, there's some kids that aren't mature enough for it, but if you look at the kids at the school and the, most of the people that are around there, I wouldn't, seeing them with a gun just would worry me more. And to, to know how easy they get provoked and how, how crazy they can be. This kid, instead of stabbing people, he could have been shooting all 14 people, and all 14 people could have been dead. Mm -hmm. um, but I that, think, that but, does give me but the, I think, but, go ahead, quickly, Senator. Well, yeah, I was just going to make, but that misses the point. Anyone like the person with the knife yesterday today can bring a gun illegally on campus. The person of the CHL, again, it's not kids, it's responsible adults, 21 years and older, who have taken training. And so I would like to, again, Stephen, you're a hero in my, in my view, yep. but we're not talking about 18 year olds carrying guns, we're talking about adults having weapons trained and, um, Steven? To avoid a worse situation. We're glad you're okay, and we're glad you are so courageous. Yes. Thank you both so much. He's a hero. Stay with Thank us. Thank you. We'll be right back.